Hey booze! In this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. Cause I'm a boss. I didn't think for you to be proud of her. Of course you have. You are marrying a man who can support you. Hi, ladies. It's Yanni, and I'm back with another video. In today's posted video, I wanted to talk about the criticism that Simone Biles received over her wedding hair. Olympic gold medalist Simone Biles and Houston Texans safety Jonathan Owens announced that they tied the knot Saturday, April 22nd, 2023. The couple shared photos from their wedding on Twitter and the gymnast updated the name on her profile to Simone Biles Owens. In an April 2022 interview with E! News, Bio said that they plan to have an intimate ceremony with a small guest list. We have some of my teammates that I'd be inviting, but other than that, it's really close family, friends, and people that have watched us grow throughout our relationship and will share that love on that day, Bio said. Shortly after making the announcement on Twitter and Instagram, Simone Biles responds to criticism over her wedding hair. Simone Biles is speaking out after some social media users criticized her up do for her wedding. Biles uploaded multiple pictures from her special day to Instagram that showed her beaming in a low-cut peered wedding gown. She wore her hair in a high ponytail that showed off the dress's neckline and tied back details. While many fans congratulated the happy couple and celebrated with her, some critics questioned the Olympian's hair choice. After a few Twitter users nitpicked Biles' wedding hair, with one going as far to suggest she should have worn a wig. One Twitter user wrote, the same black women criticizing Simone Biles for her hair, be having their hair and edges laid, still getting left on red by the males they be wanting. So maybe we should learn to mind our business and remember that beauty is only skin deep. Okay, stink a butt. Then Simone responds and says, I think they also forget I live in Houston, Texas, and I sweat those out soon as we step outside for pics, but they can keep complaining. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. More Twitter users chimed in, one saying, calling Simone Biles hair nappy like yo-ish don't look the same under that Brazilian lace is crazy. Another user wrote, so nasty to see how many black women are coming at Simone Biles hair in her wedding photos. There's nothing wrong with her hair. It's her natural hair and it looks healthy. I remember folks did the same thing to Gabby Douglas years ago. I guess some things never change. Then another user wrote, people are mad at Simone Biles' hair on her wedding day and this is the hair in question. You bees are weird. Her hair is fine. Twitter users continued. One said Gabby Douglas and Simone Biles have been bullied by black women because of how they keep their hair. What gives, question mark, why are some so invested in bringing other black women down? Another user wrote, once again, it was black women that made fun of Gabby Douglas, Simone Biles, and Blue Ivy's hair. I would also like to include the Williams sisters, Serena and Venus as well. Then another user wrote, it breaks my heart seeing black women talk about Simone Biles, but she's someone's wife. Meanwhile, the ones laughing probably on their fifth baby daddy. 
So I'm going to get into my opinion, my commentary when it comes to this situation with Simone Biles. I'm actually disgusted by the displayed behavior of black women, but it's the main reason why I don't believe in sisterhood. We're talking about a girl that had a very rough childhood. Both of her parents struggled with alcoholism and drug addiction. Her birth father abandoned the family and her mother was unable to care for her and her three siblings. So she spent a lot of time in foster care. This is a woman that has made a big name for herself. She has achieved things that a lot of us will never be able to achieve within our lifetime. And here we are deciding to bring her down at a point in her life where we should be celebrating her. And this is why I don't believe in sisterhood because we don't know how to celebrate each other. We nitpick at every little thing. And then we say, oh, I'm just looking out for you. Or, oh, I'm just doing it because you know how other people are. But you should be more understanding. You should have more compassion, right? Because you're a woman. You're a woman. So you should understand my position more than anybody, especially when you're a black woman. But no, 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 no. Black women want to tear each other down. We are obsessed with it as if the world doesn't do it enough, yet we continue to do it to each other. Black women, how can you sit up online day in and day out and talk about men all day, yet this is how you treat other women? Make it make sense. How can you call out the poor treatment of men if this is what you're doing to other women? It's insanity and it doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense. Because the very behavior that you point out in men, you're doing yourself. How can you hold men accountable when you exhibit the same behavior? It does not make sense. This is why I don't want to talk about men anymore. Because this is what we're doing to each other. We don't even know how to treat each other, yet we want to get on men. Make it make sense. This is 2023. I've seen this happen so many times. We did it with Gabby Douglas. We did it with Blue Ivy. We did it with the Williams sisters, Venus and Serena. Are y'all not tired? Maybe we need to focus on ourselves and work on ourselves because we project our insecurities on each other. And then it's keeping us from having a real bond, a real sisterhood. Isn't that something that we're actively wanting and trying to achieve with one another? But we're allowing our insecurities to get in the way of that. So why not heal ourselves, work on ourselves, stop focusing so much on men and actually be there for one another through true sisterhood. But we got to stop doing this, tearing each other down for what? That's all that I have regarding this video. I would love your thoughts and your opinions down below. If you would like to add to my commentary, please comment down below. If you're new here, subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll catch you in my next one. Oh, 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 oh,